Okay, hi everyone. Uh, it's Vivi here. So today I am in Sunshine Coast. This is probably one of my most favorite places in the whole BC. And it's really beautiful here, let me show you. And Marco is playing. Um, <laughs> we are at the park right now. He's having fun with the leash. He was, he was playing a lot earlier, but still playing. It's like never ending play. Um, this is at the Robert Creek Provincial Park. It's absolutely stunning, serene and beautiful, and really nobody here. Well, there's a, there's a few people, there's a few vehicles, but it's mostly so empty. And I actually slept here last night. It's just a privilege to be able to have something like this, like in my backyard and just wake up with the ocean and the mountains. It's absolutely gorgeous. Hey, so in this section of the of this video, I just want to answer some questions that were asked by my friends about the van life um, after they see my, my video about the shower. So Raphael was asking what was the cause of my van um, and the visa and the maintenance and all that stuff. Now I don't know if you're planning to come to Canada for van life or you want to do it in Asia or US or Europe but um, my van when I bought my van is was 11,500 um, and it's 1994 it's a Dodge getaway camper van since everything is already converted inside when I purchase it it's converted like bad by the uh, manufacturer so uh, for the year that it is is actually fairly affordable what what well, is it's cheaper than what it should be, be because for the price for the year of the vehicle the price should be like at least fifteen thousand dollars but i got it a little bit uh cheaper than the market price so um, and for the maintenance, um, I did a lot of upgrade in the van when I bought it as well. So, and, but that spreads out over two years that I've been living in there. So the, I did the floor and I changed the transmission and I did a lot of mechanical works on it. And I also, um, I also repainted the cabinets and and pretty much a lot of other things. So that added up over two years as well on top of 11,500. So for the visa, I don't know if you are planning to come to Canada or US. Every, every country has different um, immigration policies and it really depends on your country with Canada that um, that would that, that, that would answer your questions about uh, the visa but you can go to CIC.com which is the Canada Immigration Center or something like that and there will be more immigration information there so I can um, Perhaps I can put that in the information in, in the description or on or in this video for you. So you can go there and check it out what the immigration um the, the immigration policies is applies for you, your situation and also uh, for your country as well. Okay, now I want to uh answer Dennis question. So, okay, let me get back to my van and then I'll answer then this question. Okay, um, I'm back to the van and Marco is so dirty. He's been swirling on the 
dirt so his ears got so much stuff in here <laughs> you have so much fun you have so much fun now Marco you wanna say hi you get his nose you get his nose <laughs> Daniel's question he was asking me how did I stay warm uh, in the van during the winter time so I actually have two different sources for heating so you can see this is the uh, furnace down here um, and I can control that by the thermostat up here so um, so we just turn it on and um, and adjust the temperature as it goes, like whatever temperature that I want. But then I would have to turn on the propane tank on the outside in order to um, to have the furnace on. Michael, stay here, baby. Stay. Stay. So the propane tank is down here so I would have to turn this thing on before I can use the furnace inside so that's one of the heating source and uh, I also have an additional propane tank for um, the catalytic heater so yeah this is the Olympian Wave 3 uh, catalytic heater and it runs fully on propane with the adjustment of high and low so i can um this is the one that i use to run overnight but i don't keep the furnace overnight because there's the fan inside the furnace so when i so this furnace so when i run this furnace then it would drain my battery all the way through if I run it overnight so I cannot use this furnace because the fan uses so much energy um, so I would have to use this wave tree overnight uh, so it keeps it uh, pretty nice and warm when I wake up and it's, it's, not too, uh, it's not too cold during the night especially in the winter time when it can get too like what uh zero degree and uh so this is the hose i hooked to the uh 20 liter tank propane tank in the back and i'll show you the setup and yeah so this is the back of the van and that's the tank uh that would run my heater it's a 20 liter propane tank and i just secured it attach it to uh this wall right here so it's not really moving um, and I think it's off and I always have to make sure that it's off but there's no lick or anything so yeah that's basically the setup and this hose right here is goes to um, that's the hose that's go on the way that connect to the heater in the front Okay, so then next question, then this was asking um, how do I cook in the van? Uh, okay, so this is basically my propane stove here. Um, and I have three burners basically and it's also, also run on propane, which means I would have to turn the big propane tank on the outside. And um, I basically just have a pot and a pan for cooking and a measuring cup, uh, coriander. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Um, so I, maybe I'll do a video uh, how to cook and how I cook in the van in the future. Um, but basically everything I cook is very simple, um, just everything in one pot the less dishes i have to do the better the less preparation i have to do the better um so yeah i'm planning on doing a recording a video of that in the future so you can see how i cook and how i eat in the van it's kind of funny that people would be interested in watching this <laughs>
<laughs> that um, what you actually eat on a daily basis. So, um, and he was also asking uh, whether I come at one place or go around in different places. So for me, I love traveling. So I go around in different places. And like I said, today I'm in Sunshine Coast. But um, when I stay in Vancouver, I do have a couple spots that I do rotate around, like spots that are more familiar for me. Um, but yeah, I sometimes I do stay at one spot several days. Well, not more than three days, so that that would be a little bit too much. Um, yeah, but I don't like stay at one place like pretty much permanently. I know a lot of people do that um, for the sake of saving gas and um, and also ba ba basically just having a mobile home in order to save money but it's really depend on what your intention is my intention of having the van life is to travel having the freedom to to travel and stay wherever I want to stay um, so I move around very frequently and um i don't like staying at one spot technically so hopefully that answers your questions and glenda was asking um glenda was asking how where did i find my van like what i think her questions were like what resources the website that i um, that I use to purchase the van. So uh, here in Canada, um, when I when I came to Canada, um, I use Craigslist very often, and then I discover Kichichi. So I think Kichichi is only in Canada. I never use it in the U.S. And also Facebook Marketplace. So those are the three websites that I used very frequently when I was looking for a van. Um, I don't know Kijiji is in the US and I know that in Europe um, people don't use Craigslist but they use Gumtree. So those are the resources for um, looking to buy the van. And in Vancouver, Van Live is so popular that this humble van's gone very quickly. Like for the good van, it's gone like in a couple of days after posted. So it's it was not that easy for me to find the van. Um, it took me like about three months. But it also depends on what your budget is and how long you want to use it. Whether you want to do full time or part time. Um, so. And for me, I wanted to do full time for long term, and that's why I was a little bit more careful of what I purchased. Um, regardless, I, I do still think my van is pretty decent. It's a pretty good van. So um, I hope that answer all your questions. And thank you so much for watching. And we will catch you in the next video. All right, stay safe and have a good day, everyone. Bye.